everyone, it's Krista here for the Tina Conte Foundation. Welcome our new subscribers and welcome back our faithful subscribers. My name is Krista, as mentioned before, and I am the founder of the Tina Conte Foundation. So we like to really thank you for stopping by our channel today. Today we're discussing Facebook ads. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up or how to create a Facebook ad for your nonprofit organization. You need to have a Facebook page already set up. And if you don't know how to do that, I'm gonna link a video up above in the cards right now that shows you how to create a Facebook page for your nonprofit organization. At the top of the page, you're gonna click on Promote. When you click on Promote, you're given some options on the left-hand side. It says Automated Ads, Choose a Goal, or Boost Existing Content. We're gonna click on Get More uh, views on our website. Then you're brought to the screen here where it says promote your website. As you notice at the top, it says, how do you want your ad to look? It's giving you some suggestions, but the great thing is it will go ahead and populate some a potential ad that you can use so that way you don't wanna have to start from scratch. On the right hand side, you're gonna see it says ad preview, and this is what it's gonna look like. So this is simply our um, Facebook banner. So we, we look at this, we like it. Together We Can is from our website. And as you can see, since we've already have our website um, linked, it our website is listed below. Y you can decide how you want people to contact you. If you notice, since I changed the button, the ad on the right changes, the ad preview changes. So. I changed it from apply because we want to drive ads to our website. So we want people to contact us. We want that there to be a contact button. And it tells you your estimated daily reach with this ad. And it tells you like this is only an estimate. Okay. Facebook is giving you their disclaimer there. And as you scroll down, you'll see payment summary. So it tells you about the money, how long this ad is going to run and how much it's going to cost you and this is a special ad categories if you choose to if you run an ad about politics and things like that you can determine uh, the people that you target audience details was already populated however if I click on that I can change the demographic and I can also change um, how the city I can add cities you know you can get pretty detailed there and we're just gonna exit out of here. If you scroll down, it tells you people who like your page. So you can really be specific. Here it says duration. Here you can determine how long you want to run your ad for and how much money you wanna spend. So you can determine that. If you, it's, this is, says your daily budget is $5 a day. We can change it here. Let's change it to $2 a day. Once we change it, you're going to notice on the right hand side, our ad amount changes and then the amount of clicks that we possibly could get is shown to decrease. Here at the bottom, if you um, click on that, it can show if you want to run your ad on Instagram. Instagram is only showing up because we have linked our Instagram account to this Facebook page. And so as you can see here, once you make those changes, you can add your um, credit card information and it gives us an error that said our account has been disabled. And that is simply because we have not added our credit card information to make the payment for this ad. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm. If you wanted to boost existing content, what that simply means is if you've already had a post that you've made on your Facebook page and you want to essentially boost that particular post on Instagram or Facebook, you can create an ad with that particular post and you're essentially boosting it up. Um, when you hit boost post, you it will bring up your posts that you've made and it says boost Instagram media. Like I mentioned before, we can see our Instagram because we have linked that Instagram to our Facebook page. If you're interested on a video about that, you can leave that request in the comments. We're always willing and wanting to make videos that you all want to see. 
So this is a particular post that we um, have made on our Instagram and it's showing that we received our new signage for our door and we're super excited about that. So this is a great post that I think that we could decide to boost um, to let people know, hey, you know, we've moved into our new building and um, here's our new signage. Everything else will still be the same as previous. So that's the good, the good thing. Nothing will change. If you want to have sound on there, you can. So now as you look at our options here, we have boosted a post. We want to get more websites. We talked about Instagram and this is get more messages. I clicked on that because if you want to place an ad in um, Facebook Messenger, you can do it from there. So you can determine where you want to place your ad. And that's where we're giving the options here. We're giving what it, the ad will look like on Facebook. You can see there. Then at the top, it shows you what the ad will look like on your mobile news feed. Most of us do everything on our, on our phones. So this is what the ad will look like there. And then at the top, you have Instagram and you have Messenger. Here's what the ad will look like on Instagram. And, and again, the only way that Instagram is going to show up is if you have actually linked your Instagram to your Facebook and this is what the ad will look like in Messenger and so I suggest you just look at all the options the great thing is everything is going to be the same it's just going to be a different um, as far as you know how you set it up you know so but everything else the layout is going to be the same which is fabulous once you have, I want to show you this, once you have several ads, when you go on the left hand side, you just look at the ad center and each ad that you run will be here. So that way you can see the performance, how the ad is performing, how well it's doing. So you can determine if you need to stop it, end it, or just, you know, do it a different, do it perhaps, you know, uh, create a different ad. Okay. So this is a great way in your ad center on the left hand side. So that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you found value, I ask that you give this video a like. And if you're interested in more information about Facebook, I suggest you watch this video here, which shows you how to create or which shows you how to create a Facebook donate button for your Facebook page so you can get more donations. As always, thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.